All right, this is a Lemon Buster's inspection of a uh, Toyota Supra. First off, this entire vehicle has been repainted. It's got fairly heavy orange peel over the entire thing. Could use a great wet sanding and a buff. I kind of just give you a quick walk around so you can see what I'm talking about here. Lots of flaws you can see in the rear bumper here. Paint's peeling in the fuel door opening. A little bit of rust right there at the bottom window. You can see all sorts of imperfections in the, uh, the spoiler. Overall, the white twin turbo is a nice car see so far. Giving you a quick overview of the general condition of the paint. Alright, here we go. We're going to begin with the bumper. You can see it's pretty good shape from a standpoint of chips. It doesn't have too many chips. I'm not sure when the car was repainted. It looks like uh, from inside the hatch area it was because it had, the clear coat got burnt out on it real bad. See here, the headlights are a little bit yellow. They're nice and secure. You can see here it's got some uh, filled marks from the front plate bracket right here and here and here and here. Like it was removed and filled after the back one was painted. You can see the lower valence is gone. You see here the paint's all bubbly and kind of nasty. You got some other imperfections there as well. You can see you got some good chips and stuff like that here spider webbing, some busted off paint, some more spider webbing right there. See the fender overall? Very minimal from a chip and scratch standpoint here. Let's see, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the windshield frame here. So we got some chips and scratches on the mirror as well. And continue on in the door here. You might notice that this video looks a little differently from the other one. You can see there's some more chips and scratches here. It's because I'm shooting this on a uh, tablet as opposed to our normal pocket camera as it was getting low on battery. Been having problems today, I gotta have that looked at. We always keep the tablet for backup. The result, the underneath shots are not going to be as great because of the lighting situation. See here we got all sorts of little chips and scratches. Cool thing about the tablet, it gives you a little bit bigger and better picture. So you just got lots of little imperfections all over the place. Looks like the prep could have been done a lot better and the finishing with the wet sanding buffing could have been better as well. You can see right in here too you got some chipping and peeling and the where molding is right in there. You can see though the like the other car, the door jam is nice and, and clean. All sorts of little nicks and chips here in this door jam, some of which have some surface rust in them. We're going to go ahead and continue on here into the rear quarter panel area. You can see it's more of the same, lots of little chips and scratches and whatnot. You can see the orange peel, it's just not real clear. A flaw there. Got some more other little flaws here. Trim's a little not quite right there. At this point, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the rear bumper. See, your tail lights are nice and solid. The car is running right now, by the way. This one also wouldn't start, and we had to jump it. 
The other one did pass the bat load test after we did the check the battery on it after it had been running for a little bit. You can see there's lots of chips and scratches and nicks in the rear bumper here. From what I've seen so far, the white car is a way nicer car. As you can see there, it's uh, a little bit loose, not quite right. So you got some heavy scratches right there on the base of the spoiler. I pointed out earlier some rust. There's all sorts of imperfections in the spoiler. Then we're moving to the quarter panel here. You can see you got a little ding right there and got some scratches. Paint's peeling at the in the fuel door lip access. We've got a little ding right there as you can see. It's more imperfections, just more of the same. Not a whole lot of chips, just not the best paint job in the world here. Although we are awfully critical. Seems there's lots of scratches here on the Targa roof. See there's also some heavy ones on the other side there as well. I don't know if I showed those two or not. So there's lots of peeling here in the in the door sill or in the window trim sill. I have a feeling that this one's going to be an upkeep battle for you. See the seal's not quite right there due to the, the poor paint job on it. See we got some chips there at the bottom of the door. More of the same imperfections. Some light scratches here and there. See, there's actually some lines or something in the paint here, something that wasn't quite prepped out out good, maybe even a thin layer of filler in there, but all sorts of 